Hello! Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to if I go. <laughs> hi Martina. <laughs> Just saw your lovely comment, thank you so much. So welcome, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk. It's Wednesday! So uh, happy One Sheet Wonder Wednesday day. <laughs> It's not not that I always just do a one sheet wonder on a Wednesday and not that uh, I don't do one sheet wonders any other time, but uh, it's something that uh, I, I've become known for my channel. So occasionally I like to revert back to my traditions and, uh, you know, do something predictable for you, especially when I have a new stamp set to play with. Now, it's not mine. Borrowed it off a friend. Hello, Navarana. Actually, Navarana, I can see you using this. Very nice stamp set. Floral. Uh, in nature but very much stylized in the style of batik or batik depending how you pronounce it uh, my phone is telling me that I have an issue with my internet but uh, I'm going to keep going because uh, I, I don't know what else to do and I'm just going to get stamping so I have put some colours on my desk already and I think it may be helpful. I'll just grab a darker colour as well, like this one. So, um, I think it would be helpful just to lay some colours down that are nice and bright. I do have artistically inked at the side because I used that to great effect the other week just to lay some bits of blotchy shapes down. And if anyone sort of knows about henna, you will know that. Um, it can be very colourful, you know, and there's lots of different traditions from around the world of different ways of doing batik. And basically, batik is where you create a resist on fabric generally. And you can use wax, you can use a guta or gutta. Um, and you apply that to your fabric. Then you put the ink on, let it dry, and then you remove the resist so I have done various versions myself on paper using embossing powder either clear embossing powder or white or, or whatever and much as I think I would like to try that technique out at some point I'm not going to be doing that tonight so watch this space because I think I will I do want to come back and use embossing powder with this for tonight I'm just going to go with a bit of a colorful pattern not really sticking to the batik um, traditions but more kind of being inspired by the colours of fabrics that my mum uh, would have brought back from Malaysia for me and I've, I, I sometimes wear them as wraps and skirts and things so mum if you're watching thank you so there we go so hello a quick hello to everybody watching on the live hello Vicky Christine Martina Navarana Deb Kayleen Mastroieni, welcome. Hi, Georgiana, Susan, Linda, Judy, Margaret, Sheila, Mindy, Kelly. Mindy, welcome back. <laughs> She's been uh, up in New York. Hi, Shirley, Barb. Hello, Barb. Hi, Therese. Great to see you all. Please do share this video out. Uh, we're, this is Wednesday, the 10th of November. And, uh, yeah, if you do want to invite some friends to come see what I'm up to, then please do. It's a great little gathering place of friends, artsy, crafty friends from all around the world. So just laying some of this colour down, not really kind of thinking about it too hard, just to get, want to get some of this yellow in the background just to yeah, get me going there we go that'll do for now I think put that to one side and then I'm going to open pumpkin pie and the next one you just got the henna hearts to go for matching up with the treasured medallion oh okay all right just to give you advance warning i did hint at this the other day but on the 16th to the 18th 
So we've got six days. We're going to be having a bit of a sale, stamping up sale. There's going to be a percentage of inks, cardstock and dyes. OK, inks, cardstock and dyes. So if there are any ink pad colours that you're thinking, oh, I've not stocked up, I've not got those, uh, that will be the time to get stocked up. Also, if you've got cardstock colours that are depleting and you think, oh, I need a bit of a, you know, stock up on those, that will be the day to do it. Now, also, there's currently the offer that if you would like to join Stampin' Up and get a discount forevermore, well, forevermore until uh, as long as you spend, there's a, a, a minimum to spend per quarter. Uh, it's £75 at the moment and you get £130 of product. Now, if you join during the days that we have the sale, the sale prices apply. OK, so you get double bonuses if you join on the 16th and the 18th. So, I mean, just randomly putting it out there. What could you use? What could you buy for £75? Just putting it out there. So for those of you in Europe, that's about €100. Euros. What would you spend €100 euros on? How far would €100 euros go? And for those of you in the States and in Canada, you're looking at, um, I don't know, what's that? $90, $100. Those of you in Australia, that's $150. New Zealand, about $150 as well. Now, what can you buy for that price? Not very much, I anticipate. So, um, I think I might just come in here with some leaves. Not necessary for them to look like leaves, but just be another texture in there. Oh, $130. There we go. Thank you, Vicky. Good morning, Vicky. Nice to see you. I'm going to go in pumpkin pie again or real red. Go for a bit of real red this time. Lots of chocolate. Lots of Lieberkuchen. <laughs> Lots of marzipan, Martina. Lots of chocolate marzipan. <laughs> no, Martina and I were having a lovely catch up the other day and we were talking about various uh, yummy Christmas goodies. Lots of Stollen. That's about £75 would buy me about. 30 or so packs of the mini Stollen that uh, Audi sell at this time of year. I've already bought one packet because they sell out very quickly in my local Aldi. So I've also already bought my <laughs> one packet, just one packet so far. I, I hope to go through more packets than that. But uh, I, I have one just in case they sell out. <laughs> oh, it's 125, 125 worth of product, is it? Hi, Louise. Right, so this is me just getting down some colour. I actually quite like this. Who would just use this as a background? Just wondering, just asking. What do you think? Would you use this as a background as it is? Would you stop here? Yes, you would. Okay, lovely. Yes, we don't get those in the UK. Martina, the Domino Stein. Domino Stones. They're marzipan with jelly cake covered in dark chocolate. <laughs> Right, yeah, so you can stop here if you want to, but that's not batik. <laughs> that's not using the batik boutique stamp set. We're, so we're going to bring this in now. So we've got these two floral, large floral images here and various others that kind of fit inside each other. So I want this to be quite dark and to stand out. So I'm probably going to stamp this first with the early espresso. I'm going to bring in my stamp mats because this is a photopolymer set as opposed to rubber, which I've just been using. Excuse the holes in my mat. Can you tell I've been poking holes in things? I 
I brought schnitzel out in California. I thought it was good. Excellent. Good morning, Miss Ellen. Right, so this is early espresso. I'm going to aim these for the lighter portions of my design so far. So I am going to go in with the heavier pattern in a second because I feel like it needs it to sort of stand out a bit more. So one, da, 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 da. I think that's going to be it. No. Clean that off. So this is the new packaging design that Stampin' Up! have done where they're printing everything on the inside so that you can just keep things there without having the extra plastic. Now I know some people don't like it but think of the planet everybody okay uh, we're trying to in general use less plastic so I think we've all got to do our bit and so basically if you want your, your stamps to remain nice and sticky just wash them from time to time because they very easily do pick up fibres and so on. And so it's useful to just get a little bowl of warm water, warm soapy water. That is not, <laughs> I've not done that properly, never mind. It's because I'm not standing over it. Uh, warm soapy water just to wash out your stamps and that will restore the photopolymer stickiness. That's a bit better, not quite right. Maybe they're not quite meant to meet. I don't know. Who's who's got this stamp set? Who's used it? Oh, that's a bit better. Oh well, it's not meant to be perfect, is it? Hi Jane. Hi K Sigler. You finally caught alive. Yes. Hi Heidi. Good morning. Nice to see you all. So I've already started putting things in my basket ready for the sale so if you have created an account with Stampin' Up as a customer you can actually keep put things in your basket and they will sit there ready for checkout so as things come to mind so I've just been through my card stock actually and gone oh what do I need to stock up on and um, I've put some colours in there because I think it's 15% off actually we're going to get which you know 15% isn't half bad it's about a pound off a packet so I'm quite pleased about that and it's one of those things that I always end up using anyway so. more practice and it comes together thank you Kayleen Mastroianni lovely name where is what's the origin of your name Kayleen I'm presuming it's um Italian or something I wonder if the orange stamp will fill in the colour. Yes, it probably would. Yes. But I'm trying to make my design show up. So I'm going for the early espresso. But yeah, you guys feel free to use whatever you want in your designs. 10% on cardstock. Well, that's still not bad. That's still 85p, 80 so p off a packet. And is it 15% off ink pads? I think it's, I saw that, 15% off ink pads. And it's a percentage off dies as well. So there are some die sets that are just standalone die sets, like the, the circle ones. That's quite useful. And also there are some nice ones that, although they do come as with stamp sets, they're actually very useful on their own, like the scalloped rectangles. Is it... um? Stitch so sweet, I think they're called. Anyway, I can't remember. I will. I will have a proper sort of run through nearer the time of the things that I've noticed that I I think are good. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. So we've also got this flower and these leaves. And just have a quick look to see what would look good. Oh, that's an oh, that's nice. That little image there. 
although it's designed to sit in something else it, it looks like it would be quite useful on its own but anyway I quite like the look of these leaves and having these leaves near the flower I'm just trying to see what what block will fit it's always best to try and fit the block to the size of your your stamps as as closely as possible hi roberta 20% on dyes. Ruth's pronunciation is Mastrini. Oh, just Mastrini. Ah, not Mastri Mastroieni. Okay, Mastrini. Mastrini. Thank you. Right, let's get some leaves in here. I do like this leaf. It's very dramatic, isn't it? It's very decorative. I do like a decorative leaf. I love the contrast against the oranges and everything. Oh, must ink up properly though. So I am taking care to try and ink up my stamp well because it is a very kind of bold stamp. And so if you don't ink it up well, it will look a bit strange. Angle my phone a bit better. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Kayleen Mastrini. I'll just gotta say it a few times and then it will be stuck in my head. Yes, poor Martina has to put up with my German pronunciation. And I do not understand German because I never studied it. And she was explaining to me the other days how, how the vowels are different to English. And so that kind of makes sense as to why I don't pronounce it properly. Because I studied French at school rather than German. So Hello, Miss Cindy. Been sorting out giving some duplicate sets to my friend who just joined SU under me. Oh, very nice. As in duplicate sets you have because you thought you hadn't ordered them and then you ordered another set. I'm thinking I might just see a little hint of a leaf there coming from somewhere else. I think I might just pop one here. So don't neglect the edges of your stamped paper because when you cut this up into smaller pieces it will be a bit obvious if you've neglected the, the edges. I'll just pop one there. Right, I like this leaf. Yeah, they're all on sale at the same time. The, the, the dies, the inks and the cardstock. There's the 16th, 17th and 18th of November. There's a sale. And of course, there's still items in the clearance rack as well. So you could, yeah, get some really cool bargains. Right, I like this tulipy looking thing. But, and I know I've used it in the centre, but mm, maybe the next one. And I do like this little thing here. And I do like those little blobs. Oh, the other thing I quite like is this as well. Hmm. Ooh, I can see myself using this quite a bit before I have to give it back to Miss Wendy. Hi, Heidi. Heidi West. Was it your birthday the other day, Heidi? I noticed, Facebook told me. If I miss anybody else's birthdays as well, please shout if it was your birthday recently. Sixteenth, seventeenth and eighteenth, Martina. Put it in your diary now. Ah, 
I like this one. This is very pretty. Okay, so I'm just trying to see where I haven't put put it. It's nice. Mm. That one creeping on there. Might be one coming out like that. Okay, I'm just going to set that aside a second and then bring in the other little one. Oh, does she now, Miss Sheila B? Okay, Cindy. Yeah, that's great. Plus, please ask her to um, answer the security questions. Just a, a gentle reminder also that if anybody who's in Artful Stampin' Space already, who invites your friends to come and join Artful Stampin' Space, please could you let them know that you've invited them? Because I've got about three people sort of sitting to be let in, but who haven't answered the security questions. Um, and it looks like they've been invited by friends so they may not know they need to do it so just let your friends know if um if they definitely want to be in that they need to answer the questions oh i like this it's like a little splash image isn't it it could be a little splash but um it's supposed to be, I think, for colouring in one of the other images, but you know me, I'll just use it how I want to use it. That's cute. Um, that there. Another one there. And oh, about here. It would make a wonderful box. Yes, it would. Or packaging or um, or journal cover or, yeah, it would make a lovely box, like a box cover oh, with a nice red underneath and then this is on the top. We might be able to do that tonight, Navarana. Oops, I didn't ink it up properly there. This would be great background for the wildcats. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do get to pick your kit. You can choose any products you want. So if you're in the UK, up to £130 worth of product, not a penny over. But it's only going to cost you £75. Wowzers. I say early Christmas present, guys. You know, if you've got friends who'd like to buy you something nice for Christmas, then I, I would say early Christmas present, you know. And it's the gift that gives on giving, isn't it? Because once you have those supplies, you can use them to be making things to give to others. Just saying. Yes, Heidi. Yes, I agree. Yes, it's quite, it's got that sort of South Pacific, Indonesian... Uh, Malaysian kind of almost look about it hasn't it yep right I look I've spied some dotage dotage look this dotage is made up of dotage ha! I hope Glenna's here she'll be having a fit and there's two with a little flower inside that one so let's go with this one first again we're going for the early espresso Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Oh, look, and you can cluster them up together to make like a little, I don't know, weird texture. Looks very organic, doesn't it? Oh, didn't mean to cross that over. Okay, Ruth, take your time. I'm getting too impatient here. I'm not taking my time. I like it when you can sort of get them to sort of sit in, inside each other in a way. How fun is that? Oh, it's like you're creating your own texture. 
Yes, like molecules. That's the word I wanted. You can put one inside the other or separate. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy's obviously had a little play with this already because this is her stamp set. Right. I'll have a little play with that in a minute. Although trying to get these to match up, I'm sure it's not fun. <laughs> oh, I'm just going for it now. Anywhere, anywhere there's a space. Just going for it. Space there. Space there. Anywhere there's no brown, I'm kind of going for. Right, and then these, so Wendy says that these match up to go inside, but I'm not going to do that because I ain't got time for that tonight. I'm just going to pop these in other places where there is more space. Oh, dotted within dotage. How exciting. I mean, I thought dotage was quite exciting, but this is like even more exciting, Glenna. You've had six inches of snow. Wowzers. Uh, well done, Heidi. Oh, when when do you know the benefit? Hi, Kathy. Hi, I'm late. I'm late for an important date. That's okay. You're allowed to be late. We know you have a busy life. Right. Oh, I just don't know when to stop with this stamp. Just, you know, just want to keep going. But there we go. Yes, that would make a fabulous box. Fabulous, fabulous box. Should we make one? I think we could try making one. Make a really nice box of some chocolates. Some, you know. So in order to try and use as much of the paper as possible, this, the width of my paper is 21 centimetres. So I'm just going to square that off. Twenty one. Oh, actually, can I just do something? I just got to hold it there for a second. This is the screenshot pose for me to do my screenshot. Oh, come down a bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's get that right. Okay. Right. That's it. Right, then the easiest thing to do is just score the same amount all the way around. So I'm thinking, ooh, should we say five centimetres all the way around? What would that give me? Five there, five there. That would give me that sort of size box. Mm. No, actually, I'm going to go for four centimetres. So if you're doing this with American sizing, because you're... Uh, width is eight and a half. Cut it down to eight and a half inches, you know, so that you use the whole square. And I'm scoring at mm, about one and a half inches, which is about four centimeters. So I'm going to score all the way around. Move the cutting blade out of the way. That's not too bad, Miss Heidi. Hi, Judy Harmon. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I've used Batik Boutique and I've used artistically inked underneath it just to give that overall kind of splash of colour and I'm now making a box I thought Navarana suggested that and uh, I thought that was a good idea it's been a while since I've made a box so I've scored four centimetres all the way around gonna wipe my finger I've got a bit of colour on that nail and um, knowing me that will come off on my card if I'm not careful so there you have it. that's my cut my base sorry my, my top and I'm thinking a little bit of real red to go with that now 
Oh, I am running out of real red though. Hmm. Might just a pumpkin pie. Because just in case, do you get like this? Just in case I might need a bit of real red for something in the next two weeks, I'm going to save it. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds that I'm going to need it? But just in case. So I'm going to cut this to exactly the same width. But in order to make this, the base, slightly smaller than my lid, I am going to score this at a smidge, a smidge, that's a technical term. So it's basically about half a millimetre smaller than four centimetres. No, no, no. I need to go over, don't I? Because it's got to be smaller. Sorry, a smidge over four centimetres. So I'm going four and a half a millimetre. No, is that right? Yes, that is right. Because I need to make the base, this area here, smaller. So I'm going to score it like that. It is real red season. Yes, I'm going to have to put that in my basket, aren't I? Real red for the sale. So a smidge over four centimetres. If you're doing this in inches, you're talking like half a sixteenth or even less than that. Right. Give that a bit of a fold and a burnish. Where's my boon folder? There it is. Yes, you could use your scoreboard and a shim. Of course you could. Yep. Now, do we want a bit of a design on this or shall we keep it nice and plain as a contrast? So I'm going to cut straight down because we want a nice neat edge on my box, straight down and then just cut a wee little bit out of there just to help it along. Turn it around, cut straight down the crease there. I've got a feeling my scissors are curved. See, this is what happens when I try and use my scissors for things that I shouldn't use them for. I end up bending my scissors. Is that all right? I think, hmm, I think it's all right. I'm a bit naughty, you know. Something needs fixing or twisting or tweezing. I'm like, oh, what should I use? Oh, I use my scissors. And then, oh, shouldn't have used my scissors. Should have used the pliers. Or the screwdriver, or something like that. I'm lazy, so I do my box out of just one sheet to get a finished box with 17 by 12 by 1.5 that fits both cards and envelopes. Ah! What, as in you just do it out of a big sheet? Am I making a box nog? Box nog. Hi, Reese. Was that a spelling mistake? Lovely to see you, Reet. Are you at home or are you away at the moment? Oh, Martina has made sure that I know her system for making bags. She went over it with me yesterday. So I'm very excited to share it with you. It's like the no measure bag making system. Right, get some glue.
put a glue on there. And I'm going to get my spare fingers at the ready. These are my spare fingers. So that's all nicely met up there. It's all nice and lovely. Lovely jabbly. Stick my spare finger in there. Everyone should have spare fingers in their craft room. They're very inexpensive. They're cheaper than paying an assistant or a little elf to come and hold things for you. And it means you can get on with getting on when you've got lots of crafty stuff to do. Oh. Unfortunately, these spare fingers do not know how to make coffee. But it means that, you know, your, fing your fingers are free if you want to go make coffee while they do something else for you. So I do recommend them. Now, you can decorate your spare fingers if you want to with pretty paper and stamps, as I have done. That one isn't decorated, by the way. That looks like it's been outside being a spare finger on a washing line. But look, these are decorated with stamps and paper flowers. Oh, and your spare fingers can also hold it up that way. <laughs> right. Moving swiftly on. Twenty by twenty-eight point five. Oh, right. I'm going to have to do this Navarana thing. I like it when you guys give me ideas for things. Now, which was the spare finger I used first? I think I'll go for that one. Because the glue does dry quite quickly, so you don't, you know, it's not like you have to let them sit there all night. You have a whole bag of spare fingers. <laughs> I think most of us women do. Yeah. I have spare fingers to uh, decorate for gifts that I haven't got around to using yet. Right, let's leave that. Now this can then be used to make your gift card or your card that you might use to go with your box. So let's use the same colour again. Let's just measure that and see how much I've got left. I should have nine centimetres ish left, shouldn't I? What have I got? Just under nine centimetres. So I'm going to cut that down to eight and a half just to save my head from having to do measurements. And I'm going to cut off half a centimetre at the base. So again, it saves me a headache later on. And I'm going to score my cardstock at nine centimetres, which is just a half a centimetre smaller than what I've cut my pretty layer. And put it in that way. So, and that can make a really nice card to go with my box and now if I remember correctly yesterday I thought I had some cut out um, some kind of cut out filigree stuff but I may have used it up Oh, but I do have a spare bit of that. Oh, and I have a danker. I forgot to use that last night. So if you didn't catch last night's video, it was a... Um, I did some scrap cards, scrappy cards. No, that's not going to go. That's not going to work. Let's have a look. We've got here. 
a nice happy birthday. Maybe we could just cut a strip of happy birthday. I think a nice other colour actually. Keep it simple. Get the early espresso back. I think this would make a lovely birthday card for someone who makes who likes bright colours. Oh, take care. See you, Miss Cindy. What is the card colour at the bottom of the box? It's pumpkin pie, Barb. Yep. What's that about being hectic? I'm okay. Last days of holidays. Oh. So just taking time to make sure that's nicely inked up. I'll do. I'm just trying to see if I've got any any ribbon or something that would look nice under there. I've got some retired. Um, what colour is that? It's like a peachy colour. Or even just a little strip of the of early espresso. I'm thinking just to give a bit of extra contrast there. Um, I just have to get my drawer out, sorry, because it's a bit dark over there and I couldn't quite see what I was doing. Right. Oh, there we go, that'll do. So that is about a centimetre and a bit. I'm wondering if, I, if I do this very carefully, I feel like I need to cut just a smidge off the base. Let's get that to, what's that, half an inch. Right, if I hold that down really tight, will it work? Yay! Okay, fabulous. That was half an inch. So if I cut this at half an inch, um, Five eighths, I think, because I only want a very thin, thin, thin line. Perfect. I see lips on the card. Yeah, I see lots of lips. <laughs> I think it's that leaf. Um, that leaf image is very lip-like, isn't it? Hi Kelly! Did I say hello to you earlier? I can't remember. I don't think I did. Oh, has Linda got to go? Oh, okay. Uh, Root's connection's not very good. Okay. Oh, I forgot to cut this to size. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Okay, so I think that was eight and a half, wasn't it? So that's fine. That's easy to remember. Haha, <laughs> now I've got to cut that to size. I wonder if it's actually easier for me to stick it first and use my scissors. Sometimes you've got to do these things. All right, I want the happy birthday in the middle right so I don't often do this actually stamp a one sheet wonder and make the item all in one video so this is quite fun because I do get requests saying what would you use that for and how would you use that so sometimes it's nice to actually do a whole project and finish it in front of you so that you can see 
the benefit of stamping your own background. There we go. And I don't think, I think a little bit of bling would look nice on this, wouldn't it? But it you know, it would survive it if it didn't. So there we go, that's the card. Just give that a little bit extra of a push down. And let's see if my little fingers have done their job. Let's see if that works. Oh, it's tight, but it's it's there. There we go. Okay, so to get that back open again, I think I'm going to just punch some little finger holes because that is pretty tight. I'm going to use my... I've got a circle punch, a one-inch circle punch. I think it'll probably be the best size for this. I'm just going to eyeball halfway. Do that. Oh, fantastic, Ellen. Yeah, I think with the clock change, um, it's made it easier for you guys in the South Pacific. It's not so um, early in the morning. What time is it with you now, Ellen? I think I have to play with the sizing of this box because it is, it's pretty tight I and mean, it's okay, but it is quite tight. Oh, you're going early. Okay. Um, I was just thinking I've got some lovely red ribbon. This ribbon would look gorgeous if you needed to actually do a whole you know, just to give figure out how much ribbon you need just uh yeah. So I can get the ribbon to halfway or bring bring the ends together. Sorry, you can't see me do that, but I've brought the ends together. And I want it super neat. Do this. And then we find it's helpful you can actually cross these ribbons over and under oh no not that way <laughs> sorry it's a way of doing it where oh yeah just right underneath around to the other side and then this down to the other side there we go I don't want to tie a knot just yet because I'm probably going to have to undo this so I'm not going to tie the knot right now. I'm just going to tie in the bow. There we go. How gorgeous! It's a quite an autumnal looking box but with the red I think it makes it look quite festive and obviously depending who you're giving it to it doesn't have to necessarily look Christmassy if it's a Christmas gift but um, that is a really quite substantial box. Let me just go over the measurements of that. Uh, in inches, it's about five inches, five by five inches. And in centimetres, it's um, just under 30, well, about 13 by 13 centimetres. So you could get a lot in there. That's, that's um, yeah, quite a bit of room for a nice gift, you know, or gifts. You could have lots of little tiny soaps and candles and all sorts of fun things. You can even fit a punch in that, actually. Just grab a punch. 
if it's a crafty friend. Oh, just about. Oh, yes. So you could gift a punch quite easily. There we go. Stately. Oh, thank you. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there for now, guys, um, because I want to go and have a little experiment with Navarana's box. Actually, she's oh, she's messaged me the measurements. Let's have a look. So, oh, actually, shall I be brave and see if I can have a go? I'll use an existing stamped one sheet wonder. I know what. Look, I've got I've got two here from the other night. Shall I do that? That's exciting, isn't it? And then maybe I'll set, I'll, I'll do a separate video um, one day. Just for, but uh, let's have a look. So now Verana sent me the instructions. So should we do out the red one? Starting with a sheet size twenty by twenty eight and a half. Okay, so that means I just need to cut this down a little bit. So twenty. By 28 and a half. See, now Verona should have her own videos. Actually, she, she does actually. By the way, if anyone wants to go and check out Navarana's videos, you can. Also, Miss Ellen Woodbridge, who's going about to go live as well in Australia. Then score lengthwise at one and a half centimeters on both sides. So there and there. Let me just check Navarana, see if she's commenting. So never on a one and a half the length of it. Is that what you mean? Yes, I think that's what she means. Just waiting for never on to say yes. Please say never on. Yes. Yes. Oh, phew. Right, so one and a half on both sides. So I will try and convert this to inches as well for you guys in the States at some point. One and a half and one and a half. Okay. Then she says score crosswise. Twelve and thirteen and a half from one end and one and a half and three centimetres from the other end. So 12 and 13 and a half. And then do you turn it around and then do one and a half and three. Oh, I hope I'm getting this right. Now, Verona, you just have to ring me if I'm getting it wrong, okay? You can you can call me on Messenger. Okay. So I'm presuming you just then have to score these. If it helps you, round trim around one millimetre off at each end of the flap that goes back into the box to close it and around the corners. Okay, I don't quite understand what that means just yet. But... So this is to make a box to put cards in. This is what it's for. Oh, isn't that cute? So you just stick that to that, I presume. I hope I can see an Eden's Garden inspired one sheet one day in the future. Oh, I think I did do one the other day. I, I think I did. 
I'm sure I've done an Eden's garden. Navarana's calling me now. Navarana, you'll have to switch my mic off so you can't hear me. Hi, Nav. Oh, I've switched you off. Hold on. Bear with. Hold on. Bear with me because I've got to turn my uh, mic on uh, thingy down and then this up. Uh, hi, Navarana. Okay, so the flap was goes in, so you don't uh, glue, but you glue on the um, on the short side. Oh, this side. Yes. Uh, so. Where do I need to cut? The, you need to cut in the um, the middle, the little strip. Here. Yes. And then with the flap where you close it, you will. Oh, no, do those first. Cut, cut up here. Yeah. So yes. Like, so like that, and like that. And do I do it on the other side as well? Yes. Oh, this is great. Technology is great, isn't it? Right. So like that, like that. Okay. So that will go. That will go in. And the, do, do I need to cut that on this side as well here? Yeah, but but not from that angle. So you'll cut it from um, from the yes all the way down. So just the the little bit. Uh, will, yes. Right. So past the first seam, the first fold. Yeah, all the way to the second. Okay, and at the top as well. Okay. And then I would cut just um, the to the first the first seam away. No, no, uh, and the little flap because that will be yes, exactly. Okay, and at the top as well. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. And then the uh, the one millimeter is from um, this end here. Yes. Okay. No, not that end, but but um, at at each side, just the uh, the one and a half centimeter in, because otherwise it has it's quite a, a tight fit when you slot it into place when you close it. No, not this one. Uh, oh. And the one that goes into the. Uh, oh, this one here, the middle one. Yeah. So cut no. it off. No, 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 no. Keep it, keep it, because it closes uh, nicely that way. It's the um, oh. here, right where, yeah, but but just on the, you know, the the last fold of one and a half. Here. Yeah, that one. That you take just a sliver off at each end. Okay. Exactly. We get there in the end. All right, there we go. So, what do I put glue on? This panel here? No, that's the one you use to open and close. So you oh, got one. you, got you, got you. So that goes in. Yeah. So Actually, I put the tiny flap. I, I usually put uh, in the middle of the two larger ones. So that goes in first. No, that goes in second. Oh. So it will be in, in the middle of the two lacquer flaps that okay. uh, make up the side. So that goes. So do you use wet glue for this or? No, actually, I use the double sided tape, but so that gets easier. Okay, I can do that. So would you actually glue those flaps in or do you just put the double sided straight on? Um, well, I, I usually put um, on the the edge of both flaps so on the inside of one and and the outside of the other so so they fit together and then i just put a little bit um, i could just use wet glue can i just put a little blob yeah you can just get it out of the way then it will behave itself all right i just don't have wet glue that doesn't 
scrunch up my paper when it dries. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. This stuff's quite good because it's got a little bit of silicon in it. I think it stops it ruching up too much. So um, it's quite good. Right. Let's get this double sided on. This is quite old. I've had this stuff for ages and I was using it the other day and I thought, oh, it's not as uh, behaving itself as it should do. But hopefully it might work. Oh, yes, it does. I've had this in my stash for a very long time. Oh, there's even glitter on that bit. Oh, I'll get rid of that. So you, how many envelopes and cards would you fit into one of these then? I tried and if it's... Uh, if you know, if they're flat cards, you can get six envelopes and six cards. Oh, that's useful. Oh, I've got a bit too much there. Take that off. Right. Right, see if it behaves itself. Yes, okay. So keep that folded down. Bring that up to meet it. Oh, that's not behaving. Yeah, I think this tape is getting a bit old. All right, where's my bone folder gone? Let's stick that inside and give it a good rub. Lovely. Oh, I like it. So then that should just sort of fit inside, slot inside yeah, as your little... I, I round the corner so it's easier to get it in. Got you. And, and then I make a, a small notch in the middle so it's easier to get out of it. Yeah, okay, so I can do that. I can just do that, eyeball that round like that. I have got a corner around us somewhere, but I can do it like this. Right, get my little notcher. I bought that somewhere in the middle. That is so cute. I love it. Okay, I'm just going to grab some playing cards and envelopes. Ah, voila! Oh, thank you, Navarana. That's brilliant. Right, I can't see what anyone's saying on the lives. Let's just go back because I've been reading your thing. Oh, there we go. Right, thank you so much, Navarana. That was awesome. I'll uh, hop off again. Thank you. Take care. Lovely to hear your voice. You're welcome. And you too. Hey. Bye. Oh, wasn't that lovely? Oh, isn't Navarana cool? Now, Navarone actually sells her cards and things at various craft stalls, so I'm guessing she might make these for her for her stalls and things. But look, isn't that neat? Love that. Okay, so you'll have to go back and watch how I did that if you want to make one of these yourself. Now, granted, this is for the UK sizings, but I think we could probably adapt this quite easily for you guys in the States. So... Um, I'll I'll have a little play with that because I know I know your size of uh, envelopes and things that you like doing. So um isn't it fab? Oh sorry, I've gone and done something there. Oh, go on, behave yourself. There we go. Right, so there we have it, guys. We've done two boxes tonight and a card. So um now this I made the other day, very similar technique to this actually. I stamped a background with artistically inked and then used the I want to call it Merriest Moments. Am I right? Yes, Merriest Moments stamp set to do the design in Merry Malo. Okay, so similar, very, very, very similar technique. And then tonight I've used the artistically inked for the background and then used the Batik Boutique for the foreground and the darker imagery. So please do have a go. If you don't have these stamps exactly, then just have a go and have a look and see if you've got something of a similar kind of ilk uh, to have a go with that. And there you have it. Two simple, once you know how, simple boxes 
uh, to either house a gift or these will house a lovely set of notebook notelets and envelopes or cards and envelopes uh, to gift so there we go hi mary i make one similar but this is nicer wow there we go <laughs> yes you'll have to watch the replay actually if i just grab what the message that navarana sent me and put it in the chat you guys can grab it out of the chat if that's okay um oh i've exceeded my hold on let me just um that out there I'll pop that there and then there we go right so that's the oh Navarana does have a video on the box as well oh there we go please go to Navarana's channel it'll be so much easier so if you just uh click on Navarana's name it will take you to her um her video and please have a look at it. So for those of you who don't know, Nana Verana is a sweet crafty friend and she lives in Denmark. So unfortunately, she can't actually buy any Stampin' Up! products, but um, she's a great friend of my channel and um, has yeah participated in various Zooms and things. And we've really enjoyed her company over the last, um, oh, over a year, more like two years, isn't it, Nana Verana? And um, she does some really excellent mixed media type stuff and does a lot with jelly plates. So please do go and check her out. And she also has an Instagram page. So there we go. Thank you, guys. Lovely to see you this evening. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to mention. Don't think there is. Apart from go and have a look and see what cardstock and ink and dyes you might want to stock up on on the 16th, 17th and 18th of this month. And if you're thinking of spending over £75, which is really easy to do, then consider just signing up because it's a fabulous offer right now. And if you want to know anything else about what it means to sign up, please just email me, ruthtrice at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to help you. So obviously, I stand by Stampin' Up! products. They're just super quality, and the cardstock is fabulous. And the cardstock what's wonderful is that it matches the inks so you haven't got to then go running around a craft store trying to match up papers and things like that um, stamping up are very good at their coordination so it makes things much easier so lots of love to you all lovely to see you thank you so much please do share this video out with any friends if um, you think they'd be interested and uh, let me know how you guys go uh, go and share your makes on artful stamping space i'd love to see your boxes and um, there we go. Is your ch YouTube macar? Oh, uh, thank you, Linda. La Linda's just shared the link to Navarana's YouTube channel there. Okay. So, um, oh, actually, she shared it to the video. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Yeah, please go and give her a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't already subscribe to her channel. Right, I'm off. Lovely to see you all. Oh, thank you, Kay. Oh, thank you, guys. Take care for now. Lovely to see you all. Bye.